Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have square root of x plus square root of y equals to 5 and square root of x y is also equals to 5. So we solve this problem for the values of x and y. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. Uh, so now here first we need to focus on equation number 2 so that from equation number 2 we have here we can just apply uh, the scaling on both of the sides of this equation because first we eliminate all these radical signs from both of these equations and after that we will easily find the values of x and y. So first we remove uh, the radical sign from the equation number 2 so that we will take the scales on both of the sides of this equation and it will be written as in this form square root of x y square equals to 5 square. These two and square root are gone and we will get here x y equals to this 5 square equals to 25. Okay. So uh, we call this is our equation number 3 because here we eliminate a square root sign. Uh, and now uh, here we need to take the square uh, in equation number 1. So that from equation number 1 we have square root of x plus square root of y whole square equals to again 5 square. This is our equation number 1 and we take scaling on both of the sides of this equation as well. Uh, so here we use the uh, uh, algebraic formula. We know that if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to this formula we write the left hand side of the above equation as uh, so this is our a and this is our b so we substitute the values of a and b here so first we have a square the value of a is a square root of x square plus 2 times of a b so here our a is square root of x and our b is square root of y and plus b square. So our b is a square root of y whole square equals to 5 square equals to 25. And now in the next step uh, we have uh, we cancelled these terms. So we get here x plus here uh, we need to combine the square root on these two terms and it will be written as a 2 times of first square root of x y these two and square root are also gone and we get y equals to 25 uh, and here uh, we need to substitute the value of x y which we get from equation number 3 so equation number 3 is 25 uh, so we will just uh, use here equation number 3 uh, so after using equation number 3 we have x plus 2 times of square root of x y the value of x y is 25 plus y equals to again 25. So here we see that x plus y and plus the square root of 5 25 becomes 5 and 5 to the 10 and it is equals to 25. So here we move uh, this plus 10 to the right hand side so 25 minus 10 equals to 15 and we call this is our equation number 4. So here I, I can just write our equation number 3 so that equation number 3 is x equals to 25. This is our equation number 3 which we will write here above okay. So here we have these two equations and now we uh, just uh, uh, solve these two equations and we easily get the values of x and y so that first we focus on equation number 4 so that equation number 4 we have here we find the value of y and we move x to the right hand side it will becomes y equals to 15 minus x we call this is equation number 5 and we uh, after that uh, our equation number 3 implies that uh, so this is equation number 3 x y equals 25 and here we substitute the value of y here so this is x into y the value of y is 15 minus x and this whole equals to 25 so now we multiply this x on both of these terms and it will be written as 15 x minus x square equals to 25 so this will becomes uh, quadratic in x variable but not into the standard form so now first we convert this into the standard form of quadratic equation so we move these two terms to the right hand side and it will be written as this is minus x square becomes here plus x square this is plus 15x becomes minus 15x 
and this is already lies here plus 25 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here uh, we will just solve this uh, uh, nice quadratic equation. So here first we write the coefficients of this equation and we can use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. So the coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 15 and c equals to 25 <clears throat> and quadratic formula is stated as x equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a and here uh, we need to substitute the above values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as x equals minus b the value of b is minus 15 so this minus times of minus becomes plus 15 and plus minus square root of the value of b is minus 15 and the minus 15 square equals to 225 minus 4 times of a c a is 1 and c is 25 so 4 times of 25 equals 200 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so after that here we need more simplifications and we write it as x equals to 15 plus minus square root of 225 minus 100 equals to 125 and it is divided by 2 so that here uh, we rewrite this uh, 125 as 15 plus minus uh, we know that 125 equals to 25 times of 5 and it is divided by 2 so that here we get the values of x are 15 plus minus now here we know that the square root of 25 is 5 into square root of 5 and it is divided by 2. So this is the two values of x and now here uh, uh, from these two values of x we need to find the corresponding values of y. So here we break these two values here. So first we write the positive value it is 15 plus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is 15 minus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2. So here uh, we need our equation number 4 so that from equation number 4 we have uh, sorry we need equation number 5. So from equation number 5 we have y is equals to 15 minus x and now we substitute the above two values of y here and we easily get the corresponding values of y. So this is 15 minus x and the value of x is 15 plus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2 and here in that case we can just substitute this value here first we need to simplify this one here we need to take the LCM of this equation so its LCM becomes 2 and 2 15s are 30 minus we need to multiply this minus sign on both of these terms it will become minus 15 minus 5 into square root of 5 so we have y equals to 30 minus 15 equals to 15 minus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2. So this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this one. Similarly, we need to solve this one and here we put this value of x here and it will become y equals to 15 minus x. So our x is 15 minus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2. And here we need to take the LCM first. So its LCM is 2, 2 15s are 30 and this minus is multiply on both of these terms. And it will become minus 15 and plus 5 times of square root of 5. So we get y equals to 30 minus 15 equals to 15 plus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2. This is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this one. Okay. Finally, we have uh, the solution set of the given equation R x y is equals to uh, the value of x is 15 plus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2. The value of y is 15 minus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2. This is the first solution set and the second solution set is 15 minus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2 and 15 plus 5 into square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the second solution set of the given equation and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos